What's up people, welcome to Bacon with Bundies, aka Kitchen Treats with Joey D, aka Quarantine Creations, aka Let's Make Cookies. Yo, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. I want to make some cookies and then tell you about building a website with Squarespace. Is that a fair deal? All right, deal, let's do it. So today we're gonna to make three, that's four, three types of cookie. We're gonna make Imitation Millie's Cookies, Blag Millie's, Millie's and um, we're going to make them first. You'll see I've got some actual flour here. I had to batter a few old ladies for that. Next up, we're going to make some vegan cookies. So can I cover more bases? Ba ba base bases? Vegan dark chocolate. Cho I'll just put it on the screen because I can't remember what I'm making. And then third and finally, because this is fitness, I'm just going to put some protein in some cookies and we'll make some protein cookies. So I will timestamp each individual cookie scene, chapter act so that you can just go to the one that you want to watch let's do it i think i'm going to shut up and you, from now on you're just going to see my hands mate doing stuff doing magic in the kitchen right let's do it Yeah, done. Trust me. Well, yeah. All right, people, batch one is done, and I'm going to taste it in front of you. It's going to be somewhat erotic. It's still warm, obviously. Oh, mate. Oh, wow, it's soft. Oh, oh look at that melty bit of chocolate, man. Okay, I'm going to go for it. Oh, my God. Wait there. Fucking wow. That actually might be the best cookie I've ever had. You're gonna eat some. You need a bite of this now. You need a bite immediately. Look at that gooeyness, mate. Really, yeah. That gooey. Oh, mate. Oh, mate, come in the lights so we can see it better. Mmm. Every bit as good as a Millie cookie. Probably better. Mm. <laughs> it's filth, innit? Yeah. Dirt bag shit, mate. In a good way. Wow. Right, next ones. Alright, next up we're doing Pret Vegan Dark Chocolate. What are they, babe? Dark chocolate, almond, and sea salt. Dark chocolate, almond, and sea salt. The recipe is uh, straight off the Pret website, so I didn't make it up. I just 
just found it online and copied it. So we're all about inclusivity over here, aren't we? And stuff like that. So we're doing this one for vegans. Let's do it. We eat so far, didn't we? Last time, did we? Do we? I went for last time. Wow, is it? That's bad. Get that give you a bit of focus. That was Jesus. Let's get a close up. Damn it! Let's get a close up. How's it look? Mmm. 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 Yeah, they're actually sicker than I thought they'd be. Wow, they're actually super moist and, and ruthless, mate. Mmm. Yeah, wow. Cookie recipe number three is not a recipe at all. In fact, I'm actually just going to wing it. Basically, what I've done is found a couple of different protein cookie recipes and I'm just going to like merge them and make a hybrid because I feel like I don't want to do that one, don't want to do that one, but shh, together we might be able to make something sick. So, pray for me. Let's do it. I winged it, I took a risk. I think it might have uh, backfired because I think I've made protein scones. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, don't, yeah, don't do this. Yeah, don't, don't do what I did, man. Yeah, that's a nightmare. I can't understand what I did. <laughs> I was overconfident, man. I thought I could, I thought I was invincible. I thought I could take on the world and it, it backfired, man. It's a humbling experience to think that you're making some sick protein cookies and then they come out like that monstrosity. Right, I owe you a protein cookie recipe. I can't even put protein cookie in my video title now. Can I? Am I, I can, can I put three recipes in, in my title? Is it allowed? I think it might not be, it might be. I think mean, it could taste alright, you know. Do you reckon? Please say you taste alright. I think it could be. Do you reckon? Right, we're gonna come back for a taste test soon and then maybe it'll just be ugly but it tastes nice. Right, so we've been picking off these little bits like this, yeah, check that. It's like caramelised, it's like caramelised banana. Actually dead nice. I honestly think these might be dead nice. But I might have to make it a separate video and call it protein scones. Pro protein scones. Protein we'll scones. Just them down in the fine for the cookie video. Yeah, I'll just punch. I'll just punch it, man. It's too much spring, right? I'll tell you what we did wrong. All right. Don't use self raising flour, man. We use self raising flour. A, don't use self raising flour. B, just use less flour generally. C, I think there was it was too why was it so sticky? I think you used too much protein. Do you think that's way? Yeah, I think. Do you know what? I think the moral of the story is just don't make protein cookies, man. <laughs> in a, you know, in in the real in real life, in the real life, <laughs> in the real life, you gotta start questioning things if you're making protein cookies, man. Do you know what I mean? You gotta start thinking like, who am I? What kind of person do I want to be? Like, will my mum and dad be proud of me? And if you're making monstrosities like this, I think it's a resounding no, mate. So, right, I want to eat one. Shall I eat one? Do you think it'll still be, think it'll be cool enough yet? Yeah, it's like doughy almost. And it smells really good. It smells like banana bread. I think I made a banana bread scone cookie. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually nice, like, it is actually nice. But it is, it's basically a cake. It's, it's a scone. It's like a scone. It's like there's spring to it. Do you know what I mean? There's a there's a bounce. You don't you shouldn't have a bouncy cookie, mate. There's, there's you know what I mean. There's a bit of resi it's robust. Imagine right a scone that tastes like banana with white chocolate chunks throughout it, and it's got protein in it. It's actually nice. Do you want to try some? No. They are actually good. Like it's just weird to be eating something that you don't know what it is. Because it doesn't fall within a category, do you know what I mean? It's alien, it's like you, your brains know what to think. It's like, because everything's about your expectations, right? So when you bite into a, cookie, into a cookie, if it tasted like a cake, you'd be like, oh, that cookie's horrible, even though you like cake. With this, you're just like, I don't know what to expect. It is good, like, you can't go wrong, can you, if you just put peanut butter, banana, you know, shit like that together. It's gonna be fine, it's just gonna look weird. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you later. Also, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. So Squarespace is an all-in-one platform where you can build a website. Even if you don't have a clue how to build a website, you start by choosing a template from the library. Every one of them supports all major content types, whether it's galleries, blogs, commerce, or calendars, or whatever else. They're also all adaptive, so the layout will adjust depending on the device it's being viewed on. And you can see what each is gonna look like when you're editing it. You can change fonts, colors, page configurations and pretty much anything you want to change with the style editor tool as well. So it's not going to look like a template when you're actually done with it. And in terms of functionality, there's also no limits. And one thing I really like is how easy it was to set up a store selling digital or physical products with individual product variants and even discount codes for if you want to have sales or promotions. So if you want to check it out, you can go to squarespace.com and start a free trial and then squarespace.com forward slash Joe Delaney to get 10% off your first order when you're ready to go ahead. All right, thanks people. Sayonara, ciao, ciao, au revoir. Joe Delaney is my hero.